to the channel. We are back at the shop. We ain't got a hundred more cans from Texas. So that is, let's see. Let's sneak through the steering wheel real quick. Shut my door, come on. Focus. 1,665 miles. Now we don't necessarily take the shortest route. That's round trip. That's both ways. So what is that? Uh, 800 something miles both ways. 830. Um, let me look at 10.8 miles a gallon average. I cannot get better than that on the 6.4. Um, it's about all it, all it gets. So, uh, yeah, so we stop in, in Midland because we got a free place to stay, shoot down to Del Rio, and then um, come back up to Midland in the same day, come back. So it's a three-day trip. Um, 20, let me measure this trailer. I think it's a 22 or 20. I always forget the length of my trailer, but 100 cans, they charge me a little. I think it's 3,600 in shipping. Um, and so 1,600, 100 and, we'll do 10 miles a gallon, 100 and, let's see, 10, can I do that math, 160 times 4, whatever that ends up being is what we pay for fuel, so 3, 320, uh, 640, $640 in fuel, free place to stay, um, gotta eat no matter what, whether we're here or there, so, don't spend that much on food. Nothing else was really spent. Um, you find a tape measure and we'll measure this trailer. So, yeah, it's worth it. I save probably $2,500, we'll say, doing that trip that way. Um, but, I was just looking. So, we have extra room on the trailer. So we've got a little bit more room back here, and these cans have slid a little bit, and we've got some more room up top. So I'm going to see if I can pack on more cans and just order them for the length of the trailer. Let me measure my trailer real quick. This gooseneck is 21 and a half feet, so pretty short. I have a utility trailer, so I wouldn't want to, I don't think I'd want to take the Jeep. It's not going to get that much it's not going to get any better fuel mileage. I think this is a 20 foot trailer. So you can fit basically the same amount on it. Um, so if I had a better vehicle to pull that guy that got better gas mileage, I would probably consider that. Um, but that's not really adding up, I don't think, because we have, let's see, 50? Do we have 25 cans? 25, 25, 50, no, that's not right, I think I have 30. That doesn't really add up, because I don't think I can fit that many on that trailer. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, okay. 30 cans on the bottom, 20 cans up top. Um, I'm gonna see if I can press these together, see how many I can fit out here. Um, safely and then kind of figure out how many I can put up top and start ordering them in that quantity see if I can get another 30 or 40 on there or something other than that so I'm paying fifty six hundred dollars for a hundred cans and uh, my plan is to go get them every three months we'll see how all that goes um, so, so far, the last trip I broke down in the truck one time, and I fixed it on the side of the road. This trip went pretty good, but there's still some, still some issues with the 6.4. They're always going to have some weird issue, so. Yeah, so far, it's, it's been all right. That's, I bought that truck to do this trip, so. If I had something else, like a Duramax that got better fuel mileage, or a Cummins that got better fuel mileage, Basically anything. I think anything gets better than that. 
So then I would probably go in it. I need to figure that out one of these days, but use what we got. All right, let me do some math. See what I see what I think I can get on this trailer. All right, we had some weather come through. It's all gone now, but we got everything all wrapped up, and uh, I had to come in here. And since I had a chance. I just did a video on my lathe, getting my lathe all wired up from single phase, having single phase run three phase, so I decided, um, so yeah, for those of you who don't know, I have a mechanic shop and a machine shop, so that's the other job, and an awning business, so trash is a side gig, um, so we figured out we can put a hundred and probably forty cans in two stacks down below, two stacks up top, but I marked it at 130 just to be safe because I don't want to go down, order 140 and then not have them fit correctly. Technically, you can probably put another one or two stacks up top. It would probably be better to put two. I just don't know that I trust that process. Maybe we'll try that the next time and you can get another 40, 40 cans up there, something like that. I don't know that I like that idea to, to haul three high. Um, anyways, 130 cans is good enough for me. I'm going to probably try that on the next run and go get cans. That's about the only process I have. I've got a 30, I think it's a 36 foot trailer, but it needs tires and axle bearings and it's kind of not the best idea to be driving a thousand miles with. Um, brakes probably need redone, yada, yada, yada. But, uh, and then the next thing would be, yeah, to try a smaller truck because that's not a lot of weight. 100 cans is probably 4,000 pounds. I've said it before on a previous video. I've, I've had the exact weight of that, but it's, and then the trailer's probably another four, so 8,000. Can technically get away with an F-150 or something a lot smaller, but I don't own that, so. Um, keep using what I have. If I had a good running S-10, which I've got an S-10 on my channel that I do a bunch of things with, if I had an S-10 with a V6 in it, I would probably try to go get 100 something cans with an S10. Definitely a lot, so far it's been a lot better than paying for shipping, so. Check out the channel. Like and subscribe. Always got projects going on here. Always something different. Um, let's see where this trash business goes this year. Uh, we are almost one year into this. And about six to eight months of uh, of doing the actual renting out cans and stuff. So this is the year I'm going to try to hit it hard with the uh, resources that I have at hand, which is no financing, no credit cards, straight up cash business that I'm putting the cash back in that we make and it's it's been rough it's a rough way to to do business but um takes a lot longer to grow but that's my only options that i have for now so like and subscribe follow along check out some other videos and uh we'll see you the next time thanks for watching